Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody left me this note on my video. What is a curve, a shape, a line, a path, kinds of definition, various, various terms of group, things. Well, this, I don't know exactly what they're asking, but this is not a curve. This is a text, and when you click on it, you can see it's aerial, bold, but we're going to left click, right click, and if you grab your shape tool, you can't see the node. You can only do things with the shape tool which is pretty cool. You can grab each individual letter. But if you select it all and right click your mouse, convert it to a curve, then when you grab your shape tool, well, let me do it the old fashioned way. Go up to object, convert it to a curve. Now you can see your nodes. And with these nodes, you can select these nodes and, and make this X taller or funny looking. So that is curved. I don't really know what they mean by shape, but also this line right here is a curve. You can see it moves with the handle, but if you just move one handle, both handles move. You could go right up here, and this is my favorite tool, is turn the node to a cusp. And then when you grab the handle, it just moves the one side of the node. I don't really know what they mean by path. There's different kinds of path. So let's type out the word text. And do like this and grab it. And we'll make this our path. I don't know if that's what they're exactly talking about. If they get back to me, maybe I'll change the video. But fit text to path. And then when you go on your path, you can actually change it. Now, if you ever see anything like that happening, it's because the other words are inter interfering. And then to get rid of that or to change it, to convert it or ungroup it, convert it to a curve, and then you could take the word away and it'll still be on that same path or just delete your line. And then you've got that text on a path. Um, let's see what else they ask. Uh, I don't, there's different kinds of path. There's cutting paths, uh, various terms of, like group. Uh, you can ungroup these letters by an object. Let's, let's break curve apart. So now it's a curve. Now you can go up and group these objects together or they'll be individual. So these are individual letters. But if you wanted them grouped together, you would just select them all and go control G, which is group. And now these letters are all grouped together. When you, when you grab one, you grab them all. You always go to object and ungroup them back. And you can always use the menu bar. You select them all, go up to object and group. That's all I can really get from her message. Uh, you know, a line is just a line. Uh, if you draw a line and you hold down your control button, you get a parallel line, perpendicular line to the other line with your control button. If you don't do that, you can put it anywhere you want. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.